Hey guys, Mike here. Um, I would say this was a pretty darn good Monday, but it's Tuesday. But it was a darn good Tuesday. Some nice calls in the room. I'll go over a couple of them real quick. Let me first throw this up. Pause the video and read it. I say this every video, but I'm saying it again. Pause the video and read that if you don't know what we're all about. I make my money between the bells and cash every night. Bunch of good traders in there sharing ideas before they trigger. That's my favorite thing about the room. Um, speaking of favorite things about the room, let me slide this over. Um, Matt D posted LUNR right back up. Second mouse through 950 if it can slow down. And that right there is where it hit 950, the second mouse. Um, and it went all the way to 1205. The stop was right down here, um, which I think was maybe 40 cents below. It didn't come close to stopping out. I actually didn't see Matt's post. This is my favorite thing about the room right here. Nick C um, also posted an idea through 975. I also don't think he saw Matt's post, um, but even if he did, maybe he was giving people an alternate way in. I'm not sure about that, but I saw this post, agreed with him, and jumped in the 975 break. So I didn't even get the original post. I got a second person's post. Love the teamwork in the room. Um, and that happens a lot. Several people in the room stalking, you know, the same stock, maybe even for multiple different setups that we teach, right? So um, talk about another one here. Let's see. B-I-N-C, if you weren't in chat today, made this crazy move. Um, Matt D again gave a 250 second mouse idea on that one. Let's go to five minute candles so you can see it. Um, and that would have been, you can see uh, when I hover over something, the prices are up here. So when I hover over, hover, excuse me, over this candle, you can see it was uh, topped out at 250. His idea was back through that, which happened right there. It went all the way to 368 without stopping out. So another uh, great post by Matt. And then, um, you know what? C pop, and this isn't like the best call of the day or anything, um, but it's still worth noting right in this area as it was coming down, right? So I, I don't know if I can, I'm still a little squinky on these charts. All right, so as it was coming down, I can't get it exact. Um, I don't know how to drag it one candle at a time. But anyway, as it was coming down, um, I gave the idea to switch to two minute candles now that we were down here in that 15s buy zone, right? So if you did that, um, the entry, and these are five, so I'm not showing it to you at the moment, but uh, was 579 with a stop at 563. So not too bad at all, right? Uh, what is that, 16 cents? And even though it doesn't look like much, it went all the way to 654, I think. So still even a neat little trade and I actually did um, catch this trade. So that's a neat little trade, even though it ended up rolling over a little bit. Um, it did close strong and ended up going back through the highs, which I never would have guessed. But there's an example of even, even just playing this, this one green candle, basically from you know somewhere in here to here, doing what we teach was still a decent little trade. Nothing compared to the other two, um, but I thought it was worth showing in case you all weren't around or um, anyway. So let's talk about what we're gonna watch for tomorrow. Remember that we are focused on daily charts that are in play, but we take our trades based on intraday setups. All right, so um, I don't even see CPOP on the list. How did I not have this on the list? All right, we're gonna add it now. CPOP um, has to be on the list, right? I had this, if you look at what it did Friday, it popped and then went out of the lows. I wouldn't have even had this on watch. Um, but as Wayne pointed out today, we're seeing some of these rally the next day for some reason. So as long as we catch them on an intraday basis, look for a setup, um, you know, there's still trades to be made. Um, and that is crazy strong after yesterday's candle. So we got to watch that when we're day traders, right? MNY, um, I like the breakout today. And the fact that it top right at the half? No, no, the 346. Anyway, su super interesting over today's high, if that happens tomorrow, maybe a different entry if we can find one. Um, IFBD, I actually like it more today than I did yesterday because today gap down but showed strength again. And now you've got an inside candle. So that one goes back on long watch. TROX, just again, really close, holding up well near that horizontal line there. Possible breakout over that. VTYX, um, you got this long island down here. Nice volume today and it's trying to break up out of that. So we're going to watch that for a possible 
continuation play. LUNR had the gap up, strong close. Matter of fact, as I'm talking to you right, well, it went to 1308 in after hours. As I'm talking right now, it's at 12 and a quarter. Definitely got to keep that one on watch. TOST. Um, I'm going to pull that off. I'm going to take it off the list. I got enough on the list anyway. Um, I don't like how far it closed from Friday's high. I was going to point out the inside day, but I'm going to pull it off the list. I'm trying to keep my list, you know, um, manageable. Not too many stocks on it. NMG, maybe just a quiet inside day, and maybe it continues higher after that move last week. BBAI, um, also the same thing. It's kind of near a breakout right here. You see the horizontal line? A couple days lower. So you sort of have a little cup and handle handle for me here. Um, I'm not in love with it, but I will have it on the chart. P-H-A-T. I mean, I don't know how you don't love that symbol, right? Um, you had the big rip Friday, inside day today, but held up pretty well. So we're going to be watching fat. V-I-N-C had that big rip today. We'll see if it gives any kind of setup again tomorrow. PLCE is a weird chart. I um, had the gap down here, two-day rally, then gap down, looked like it was rolling over, and then had this crazy day here, then a green day, then a red day. So there's really, I don't know, you know, if you look at where it is now, it's about where it was two weeks ago, right? <laughs> Maybe three weeks ago after all this chaos. But it's because of all this chaos um, and that crazy move it made back here that as a day trader, I know now that I see it's, it's in, that, in that realm of you know, making big moves, I do want to watch it, all right? Simple as that. Crocs um, had the breakout on Thursday, then a red day on Friday, red day today. I'm kind of going to treat that as a bounce play. P-E-N-N. Looking for a snapback bounce. That's just an ugly daily, but looks like it's in the very short term oversold and could give a nice snapback bounce. M-A-R-A. -A. I just chose one Bitcoin play. I like this one because, uh, you know, had the rally with Bitcoin now three days in a row down into that buy zone we like. And then one more stock, Frog, um, which had the big gap up. And now a couple red days getting back near um, the eight day, right? So maybe we put this on bounce watch tomorrow. All right, that's it for me. As always, we'll add other gappers in the pre-market. Should be plenty to watch. I'm done babbling. We'll see you guys in the chat room in the morning.